Hello and welcome to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Anne Kristen and I work as a physiotherapist and my idea with this channel is to get you some good great workouts with a good of quality and with my knowledge put in to this session. Today's session you will need an exercise band and you will need some kind of exercise band. You can of course do some of the exercises without as well. Maybe you have one like this, maybe you have a little bit more, more tight exercise band like this or maybe you have one of these. If you have one of these, we will be needing it to make a knot just above our knees to do some exercises with that. So uh, choose whatever you have at home. We are going to do it like this. We have First, we have an exercise and it's a pulse focused exercise and I can already by now reveal that it's a burby exercise. We're going to do that three times. Then we're going to go to two more exercises. We're going to alternative between those two, three rounds, working with an upper body focused and a lower body focused. We are going to work for 45 seconds and 15 seconds to get ready for the next exercise. When we have that done that, we have a little bit of a water break. Then we're going to continue with a pulse focused exercise three times in a row and then alternative as a superset with two more exercises. So by the end of this session, you have been working nine exercises and a full body exercise session, just working yourself from top to bottom. I will help you. I will guide you. And in that 15 second rest period, I will show you the next exercise. Make a little bit of a break here and there if you need so. And uh, remember exercises and getting in shape is just like a journey. You need to start and then you need to move on from one place to the other one. And then you will just suddenly they one day wake up you have been a lot stronger than when you started the journey so of course you need to exercise and do different kind of session working your body in a 3d motion so come along with me and let's go ready to do the first exercise so the first one we got we can do is gonna be a burpee with a box run so we're gonna jump out no push up out here and then we're gonna box three two one and then continue like this three times in a row but we're gonna work for the 45 seconds and then we have 15 seconds of rest until we have done this exercise three times and after that we're gonna put on our exercise band and we're gonna do a superset with two different strengthening exercise sessions so getting our pulse up burning and then we're going to continue with the strengthening exercise a bit of water and we have another setup so ready to put this timer on counting down from 10 and uh, keep that exercise band close to you because we're going to use it after the three rounds of burpee with a box run so shoulders back engaging your core area and we're going to jump out and in here box of running and back up again and you just go ahead and find your own rhythm inhaling and exhaling so try to get shorter breath if the burpee makes you a little bit dizzy then you can go for a little bit longer of a run before you do one more so this is a good way to get into burpees alternative between a run and the burpee keep chin in and chest up really good only working for another five seconds and a little bit of a break 15 seconds to be exact before we're going to do this exercise a second time out of third so try to get shorter breath we are going to do strengthening exercise in just a few seconds <sighs> running running <sighs> and do try to engage your core area as you're jumping out in that straight plank position to ease off your lower back <sighs> keep going 15 seconds we can do it it's gonna be a feeling so comfortable afterwards I'm telling you a little bit of a break one more give it all you have 
We are gonna do strengthening exercises after this one. Feel your heart pounding in your chest. Let's go. Third and final burping right here, right now. Shoulders down, moving up. Squeezing your pelvic floor, your core muscle. Hang on, or maybe do a little bit more jogging on the spot, as long as you feel short of breath. And one more. Very good. Bring that exercise band right on top of your legs, your knees. First, we're gonna do a push-up with a stack of arms. So, right arm in front. We're gonna go down, back to center. So, a distance between your front arm and up. And of course, you can do this exercise on your knees, moving those arms. So right now, of course, we're not using the band. We're gonna do that after this one, engaging your core muscle, feeling your upper body working, doing a lower body focused exercise right after this one. Good quality. Please go down on your knees if it gets not very good quality. Very good. We're gonna be down here on all four, bringing one leg up at the time, squeezing our glute muscle and keep your good alignment over your lower back. Every time we're moving that leg up, we're gonna do a extension in our hip area to get our glute muscle in and working. Lifting up and back down again. If you want to go ahead and straighten out that knee, you do so. If you feel more comfortable for your lower back to have a bit of a bend, bended knee, you just do that. Ease off your neck by putting your head on top of two hands, squeezing and feeling your muscle working. Very good. We are back to the staggered push-up. One arm a little bit in front and the other one a little bit up back. Squeezing, getting ready. Three, two, one. Going down, back up, changing position. Down, squeezing, good quality. Feeling every single Repetition, engaging your core muscle and also your pelvic floor. Might as well get everything going here. Go back on your knees if you need to, to keep the good quality. All up to you, feeling your way. Down and up. Go down on our forearms and getting ready, inhaling, exhaling our second round here. Straight leg or bended knee. So it's not about how many repetitions you're doing within those 45 seconds working frame. It's about feeling the repetition that you are making. So don't just bring that leg up and down, bring it up with some awareness of what to feel. So feeling your glute, engaging your core muscle to keep your lower back in a good position. <sighs> feeling it burning in your glute. If not, you're not squeezing enough. Up and back down. One single and 
third round of the push up and we are ready in five seconds one arm in front arm in the back and down again bringing your elbows in squeezing and lifting up this is our third and final time with this exercise and bring it up doing the glute focused exercise in just a few seconds and then we have a water break so put that intensity in if you don't feel like getting a break shortly then work a bit harder squeezing going back up good job final here tuck in the area area shoulders away from ears getting ourselves ready and feeling your glute muscle working inhaling and exhaling so I know the beeper can sound very loud it is for you to be following along knowing when to stop and to start and lifting up burn baby burn great timer for a stop just a quick short water break and bringing that band off for the first three rounds of a pulse focused exercise so while you're just relaxing in just a few more seconds i'm going to show you the next exercise we're going to do a burpee still no push-up jumping up down side side center and that we're going to do three rounds but do remember when we're getting shoulder breath just try to keep ourselves going because then we have a super set with two new strength focused exercise ready just keep the exercise band next to you counting down here from 10 seconds getting ready for the three in a row burpees with a side jump four seconds and here we are jumping out to the side back to center a nice good jump touching the ceiling or maybe your fortune to be doing this outside in a nice warm place you definitely don't want to do this session here in cold Denmark keep going very good ready for round number two you should be affected by your breathing by now getting ready shoulders back and here we are out out center try to go down in your knees don't do this it's too hard for your lower back keep that chest up going into a squat using your legs not bending in your lower back lifting up ten more seconds back in center if this is too much you can go here lifting up and down or maybe you just get busy getting your head down and up ready to head off with our third 
and final round of burpee for this set. Here we are. And make sure that you are jumping out to that straight line, line engaging your core area, shoulders back and down. So close. Only 20 seconds. Inhale as we're jumping up. Exhaling when we're down here. Good, grab your band right on top of your knees. Ready for a beer crawl. Going in, in, out, out. And we are ready. Bring your legs forward and alternative by left, right, and back. Right, front, left, back. Starting, continuing starting with each leg. If it's too hard on your hands, go down on your forearms, doing the same exercise here. Looking down and keep going. One single round here. Shoulders away. Keeping that core area nice and tucked. Using our abdominal muscle, a lot of shoulder stability here. Getting up in a standing position. Squatting, pumping down here. Pressing those legs out. Keeping yourself in a nice, good position here. And pumping out, chest up. I find it nice to put my hands in front of me because that reminds me not to do this with my buttocks up. Keep chest up and buttocks down. And if it's too hard in your legs, getting up now and then just to ease off your Lower body, pressing those knees out to the side, moving and activating the muscle side of our hips. 10 more seconds to remember, it's a upper body core focused exercises. Right after this one, pumping, pressing, very good. So close to being down here again, engaging your core muscle, doing the beer, Beer walk on the spot, on your straight arms or on your forearms. Right leg, lift, right, lift, lift, right, lift, right. Just a few inches or centimeters above the exercise mat with those knees. It's not gonna be a lot of challenging tipping toeing up here. Keep you down here. So try to keep that 90 degree angle in your hips and as well in your knees. Fourth and back again. Inhaling, exhaling. Getting a little bit of resistance while we're moving forward here from the exercise band. Straight position. Easing off a little bit of your wrist, hands, and shoulders. Bring those back. Tuck in that core area and your pelvic floor. Standing in a good with position. Pumping. Staying down here. Get that buttocks down. Moving knees out to the side. Pushing out. Inhale. Exhale. Pushing out to the side even though the band might try to put your knees into kissing legs kissing knees try to put them out and using your muscle adduction muscles here right now chest up chin in pushing pressing off only five more seconds and we are almost there we can do it and boom, here we are. Our third and final one of this walking on the spot. 
and ready shoulders down and back engaging your core muscle yep i know i say it a lot about those core muscle because i know people tend to forget and you should train these muscles to let them help you in your daily life doing all kinds of daily living activities knees front knees back and if you feel a little bit sad right now because this is hard keep thinking about you're here i'm here with you and we can do this together and five more seconds booyah boom bam and here we are getting up squatting pumping getting a water break in just a few seconds and when we're done with that we are having a bit of water and only one more block to go staying down pumping out to the side so fold the whole area here on on your in your glute muscle but also on your muscle on the th th side of your thigh so bring that chin in chest up pumping out to the side squeezing pressing inhaling and exhaling <sighs> keep yourself going because you do know you have a water break in just a few seconds pressing out only 10 more seconds pumping bring those knees out to the side doing a lot of talking to get you through this great job water oops and get rid of that exercise band just for a short amount of time well deserve water very good one third and final block and oh my god do you think is she bringing up another burpee yes i am because burpees are a great way of getting short of breath moving your entire body so this burpee we're gonna do with a jump lunges so lifting up out in jump lunges jump lunges back to center and back into the burpee still no push up though and then three rounds bringing that exercise band for three rounds of that super set and we are good to go counting down from 10 seconds ready three final times of burpees with the jump lunges good combination what's not to like in bringing those legs into center back up again very good if you can alternative between which leg goes in front each time so alternative between your left and your leg left and right leg just to get an even pressure on both legs and go down and up inhaling going into that squat position every time great job only two more to go and i promise you no more pulse focused exercise no more burpees until you come back and do the session it's a good thing to sometimes do the same session for a short amount of time so you can actually feel yourself getting better but do be aware of that as long as we're getting in a better condition we will work harder and push ourselves within those seconds of working and you will still feel that this is a challenging exercise session and it's supposed to be that only working for 30 sorry 45 seconds 
and one final time. I promise you, you will feel great after this. Stay put with me. I need you here. Two, one, let's go. So remember, I do keep eye on you. Keep focusing on the good quality. That's the most important. If it's too much by now, do some jacking on the spot. Do whatever you feel like. But keep going, keep pushing yourself to get shorter breath. <sighs> Only 15 seconds. <sighs> I know you will be dreaming about burpees tonight. <sighs> and that's kind of a good thing. <sighs> Bring your exercise band just right on top. We are lying down on our stomach, bringing our arms up, pumping up here, and try to push your legs out to the side. So lifting up, pumping, two, back down again. Up, out, to the side, back down again. If you feel like, you know, hey Kristen, I can no longer go with that lower body, that's fine, keep your lower body down doing the two pump, focusing in. Doing a great job with your upper body. Chin in and chest up. Lifting those arms up, inhaling and exhaling. Yep, lying on our back. And we are gonna stay up here and pumping out here. So have a static movement here. or keep the position, chin in, pumping out to the side. So that's what I was talking about just before. If lying on your front and doing the push up, push out with your legs is too much, then you just focus on your getting your back in motion or else you can stay up here, chin in, chest up and squeezing. Do engage your pelvic floor, pumping out to the side, or maybe it's too much here, you can go with a bit of a bended knees. Don't make anything uncomfortable for your lower back. <sighs> Keep it going, three, two, one, and turning around. So this is what I was talking about. If it's too much to put your legs in and your lower body into this, you just go with the upper body. Thumbs up. Opening up in your shoulder joints, pumping, lifting, back down again. So what I'm trying to say is that it's most important that you lift off your upper body, feeling your muscle between your shoulder blades and along your spine working that's the muscle that keep you staying up sitting all day so please be nice to them they are trying to keep up with you doing daily life do the pumping to the side with the leg or keep the legs down you know what's coming up after this one turning around lying on our back very good. <sighs> Try to keep yourself up. If it's too hard on your neck, I will show you an alternative. <sighs> Lifting up and pumping out to the side, squeezing, pushing, and you can always go in here and also do a little bit of a bend position in your knees to ease up that lower back and when you do that you ease off your neck as well so here we are doing a lot of neck focus stability core stability pumping out pushing <sighs> squeezing and keeping that lower back down <sighs> feeling it burning feeling it burning in all your core area <sighs> we are so close Pushing, pressing, two, one, boom. 
turning around one final time on of each exercise and then you are done we have been doing an excellent job looking down reaching up pumping bringing your legs along or maybe just your upper body so this is our final round final block we can do this pushing out lifting up looking down and do remember to engage your pelvic floor before you're lifting up chin in five more seconds yep turning around our absolutely final exercise and do we use just a few seconds to have a focus on how you're feeling afterwards because if you're feeling like you could have been going on again and again and again i challenge you on being even more efficient in that 45 second time working period pressing that lower back down is it too hard bending your knees keep going but try to keep your chest up shoulders away you can ease off your neck by hands carrying your head or keeping your arms here for a little bit more of a challenge only seven seconds pushing it pressing it inhale and exhale push push and here we are great get that exercise band off and get some water very good working approximately 30 minutes plus a little bit of warm-up and now i will put a link on top and below this session for you to do a bit of a stretch I have session here with eight minutes stretch using a chair no equipment and uh, also session that is a little bit longer if you find this session to be a little bit too tough you can always take breaks now and then but else i will suggest that you look up for the video session i have here called physio fit where the session is a little bit more moderate but please keep in mind this is a journey and you have to feel that you are getting better and better if you felt like getting anything out of this content please subscribe consider cons subscribing and uh, until i see you next time take good care stay healthy and happy and enjoy life bye for now